Hey guys, Brandon from Luxonis here. So I wanted to take a moment to demonstrate the power of having a completely self-contained system. So what you have here is the Depth AI for Raspberry Pi compute module. So you can see the compute module back there. There's a little toy car for showing later. Uh, this is hooked over HDMI to the Autofruit display, standard kind of like Raspberry Pi display. It does require a custom config.txt under slash boot config.txt uh, of 800 by 480 pixels. Um, so it also connects over USB because it acts as a as a USB mouse actually. So you can use the touch screen on here. Uh, and then I have my actually now quite old uh, travel battery that I take with me to recharge my iPhone and such. Um, so what I'm going to show is just the system booting, you know, outside, nothing else supporting it um, from the battery, uh, and then running MobileNet SSD, which is 20 class, including car. Hence this little guy, person, somehow sheep made it in there. Uh, so you can see now it's a little bright outside, so the display isn't super clear, but here's the Raspberry Pi booting. Again, that's uh, off the back there, so it's integrated compute module, the 3B+, plus, so the desktop loading, and then it's just running an example shell script right now with those classes. So you can see it's booting the depth AM module, and here the click of the autofocus, uh, getting everything ready, um, and now it's actually performing, so you can see person there, <laughs> if I zoom in, uh, performing MobileNet SSD, uh, and if you look real close, then you can see the frame rate. So it's like 25, 26 frames per second, uh, which normally on a Pi, you know, if the Pi itself is around one, with the NCS2 with the Pi, you're at maybe eight. Uh, so then theoretically, if I put a little car, it'll, it'll see car there as well. Um, car and person, because it doesn't really understand a person holding a car. It's not a common scenario. But if you look around, you'll see chair and so on. Um, so yeah, that's it whole system running so if you need to build something that interacts with the world put it out in the field just put an enclosure on this and you're good to go thanks guys